With a top-secret acoustic system, the U.S. Navy discovered the Titan sub-implosion the day the vessel vanished. Within hours of the Titan submarine entering the water to examine the Titanic disaster, the U.S. Navy discovered what it believed to be an implosion. According to a U.S. defense official, the Titan lost contact with the mothership about an hour and a half into its mission on Sunday morning, and the Navy immediately started searching for it. The official said that sounds associated with either an explosion or an implosion were detected by the Navy's top-secret acoustic monitoring system close to where the Titan was discovered on Thursday. While not definitive, this information was immediately shared with the incident commander to assist with the ongoing search and rescue mission, the official said in a statement. The announcement came after the U.S. Coast Guard determined that the missing Titan submarine was among the debris field that had been discovered earlier in the day. Rear Admiral John Mauger of the U.S. Coast Guard told journalists that the debris was consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. On behalf of the U.S. Coast Guard and the entire Unified Command, I offer my deepest condolences to the families," he said. Around 1 hour and 45 minutes into its dive on Sunday morning, the Titan lost contact with its surface ship, the Polar Prince. This happened around 900 miles east of Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and about 400 miles southeast of St. John's, in Canada's Newfoundland. The Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush, the British businessman turned adventurer Hamish Harding, the wealthy father and son duo Shazada and Suleiman Dawood, and Paul Henry Narjolet, a major authority on the Titanic, were all aboard the ship. 